we shall overcome. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., we thank you for the privilege that we have that we can come together in oneness and in agreement and declare the works of your hand. We thank you today that every household is blessed. We say that no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper. And for every tongue that would rise against us in judgment, you already condemn. So we thank you now for what we're about to do. We thank you for the boldness that these young people have to say that I'll stand for right. We thank you that Dr. King said it plainly, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So we thank you that we can do all things through you because you strengthen us. And we'll give your name the praise, all the honor and glory for it. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. And if you agree with that, put your blessed hands together one more time and give a thunderous round of applause for what these young people are about to do. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna do one more thing. We thank the king and queen for allowing us to be in their presence. We're gonna present 2021 on of Dove, Mardi Gras, King and Queen. Y'all come on, give a round of applause before they come up as I announce their name. Kristen Walker, a round of applause, please. Mackenzie McMillan, a round of applause, please. Let me get off this mic and let them do what they was coming to do, and that's to organize and complete talking to you all. And we're going to second line out of here with the band when they're done. Good afternoon. I had a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King, and it says, I have a dream Alabama. with this vicious racist, with this governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, that one day, right down in Alabama, little black boys and girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. Martin Luther King. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This dream has become our reality, even though there's still racism happening outside. As a black male growing up in the society of today and being king, I want to show that my skin complexion does not determine who I am. Come on, man! My hey. attitude, my personality, and my intelligence make me the man that I am today. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I also had a speech. I don't know if it's going to be good. It's good. My bad, my, my bad. All right. <laughs> I also had a quote by MLK. I had a dream that four little children will one day live in a nation where they did not be judged by their color of their skin, but by their character. Me going to a Catholic school is predominantly white. That it made me realize that this quote means so much to me as a queen. As a black female student at McGill when I take my skin color, my slang, and my traditions to my school. Where there's little jokes about me being too loud or why is my hair different or my skin complexion, I always shrug it off and laugh it off because at the end of the day, I know who I am as a young, strong black woman. Every day I wake up and go to school, I think about the little girls that are younger than me that go through the same thing that I go through every day. And as they're going through it, I wonder what they feel. I wonder how I can change it and I interpret that and make my change every day in my life. I like to thank everybody that came out. I like to thank the marching cougars. I like to thank every dance girl that's here. It makes me feel happy because I'm a dancer also. Um, I'd like to thank my court for coming out, the, even the younger kids that are here, even the princess and the prince. I'd like to thank my royal court organizers, Mr. and Mrs. Martin, and everyone else. Thank you, Fox 10, thank you, 15, and thank you, 5, for coming out and showing your presence today. Thank you, Pastor, for giving your great speech and blessing. And I'd like to thank you all, and I hope y'all have a blessed day and a blessed Martha Luther King Day. Thank you.
right, can I get y'all name and what's the name of y'all organ y'all names and what's the name of y'all organization? Uh, my name is Crystal Hall. My name is Mackenzie McMillan, and it's Order of Doves. Order of Doves. Now, today is MLK Day, so what does MLK Day mean to each one of y'all? Uh, for me, I like it because I go to a, a Christian school, and I feel like it's a blessing to go to Christian school. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's a blessing to go to a Christian school, and I love that they celebrate MLK Day just like any other day of the year. Mm -hmm. Mobile County Public School System. Okay. And so I love the fact that we're celebrating the king and his dreams that actually came to reality. Oh, yeah. And we're almost up to Mardi Gras time. And you know Mardi Gras is real big in Mobile. So to each one of y'all, what is Mardi Gras to y'all? What do it mean to y'all? Is it special to y'all? Uh, I, I like it because it's a big celebration and I can spend time with my family and my friends. I like that. Okay, you? I've always loved Mardi Gras since I was a little girl. I was always in the world court. So I love the fact that not only is it like a royal time, it's also a fun time that you can eat on the float, off the float, eat any type of food, and enjoy your time. All right, y'all, I appreciate that. I like those answers, man. And um, so anything else, well, that's it. Y'all want to give some shots out, some advice, or anything? Y'all good? Yeah. Good. 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 All right, well, that's it, y'all. Peace out. And so as I leave you this evening, I say, walk together, children. Don't you get weary. There's a great cap meeting in the palace.